Donyi Polo also Donyi Poloism is the designation given to the indigenous religions, of animistic and shamanic type, of the Tani and other Tibeto-Burman peoples of Arunachal Pradesh, in northeastern India. The name, Donyi Polo, means, Sun Moon, and was chosen for the religion in the process of its revitalization and institutionalization started in the 1970s in response to inroads made by Christianity and the possibility of absorption into Hinduism. The religion has developed a congregational system, hymns to be sung composed in the Tani ritual language of shamans, a formalized philosophy theology and iconography of the gods and temples. The pioneer of the revival was Talam Rukbo. Donyi Polo is related to the Hemfu Mukrang religion of the Karbi and the Nyesi No of the Russo. Theology and cosmology Sedi and Kiyam in the Danyi Polo belief, the fountain god that begets the universe god or the godhead is referred to as Sedi by the Minyang and Padam, Jimmy by the Gallo. All things and beings are parts of the body of Sedi. In creation, the hair of Sedi becomes the plants of the earth, his tears become rain and water, his bones become rocks and stones, and his two eyes become Danyi and Polo the moon. Sedi, after creation, is a deus otiosis but continues to observe creation through his eyes, his double aspect veiling unveiling revealing himself. In Gallo beliefs, Jimmy manifests as mellow sky and Sidi earth, out of the interaction of which all things and beings are born, including Donyi and Polo. There are other myths explaining the meaning of the duality Danyi and Polo. According to Talam Rukbo's theology, all celestial bodies, including Earth, all things, originate from one source, Kiyam, nothingness or the vacuum. Danyi Polo is the polar force that generates all stars, the physical sun and moon, respectively, Bamang and Bu, near the Earth and humanity, are bodily manifestations of the universal unseen power Danyi Polo, with Bamang carrying out the centralizing power of Danyi, and Bu the Polo power of life giving. Topic. Danyi and Polo Topic. Danyi sun and Polo moon, which are, respectively, female and male in the Tibeto-Burman tradition, called An Danyi mother sun, and Abo Polo father moon, constitute a notion similar to the yin and yang of Chinese culture. It is the analogy through which the divinity Sedi can be described, representing the way in which the divine principle manifests itself, that is, eternally veiling, unveiling and then revealing himself in nature, providing harmony and balance to the universe, for example in the alternation of light and darkness, heat and cool, or unity analogically, the sun of the daily sky and multiplicity analogically, the stars of the night sky. The practical expression of the faith in Danyi Polo can be found in the daily life and actions of people, they call themselves Danyi O, Polo Ome, meaning, children of the sun and the moon. When a believer is distressed he invokes Danyi Polo. If a man is falsely accused of lying he invokes Danyi E, O sun. All these are expressions of faith in Danyi Polo upholding providently the world, rewarding the righteous and punishing wrongdoers. The divine pair is revered as the highest holy figure governing fate. Danyi Polo is also used in the sense of truth in sacral speech. Danyi Polo is an epitome for wisdom, enlightenment, right conscience, truthfulness, and selflessness. Aware people are called Danyi Polo Ome, which means children of truth. Elders are regarded as Danyi Polo Abu, representatives of the truth. Gods The followers of Danyi Poloism worship a variety of gods and goddesses that enliven nature. These gods are believed to partake in the universal balance of Danyi and Polo, and to be multiple manifestations or identities of Sedi, Danyi Polo, each with specific functions and roles. It is believed that they take care of the earth and humanity. The main deities in Danyi Polo are Danyi and Polo, Kain Nain, Doying Boat, Petting Nain and Guaman Soyan. Abitani. Topic. 
Tani speaking peoples Apatani, Gallo, Nishi, Tagan, Na, Mishing, Adi Loba share a myth telling of their descendants from the progenitor Abitani. Other Tibeto Burman peoples of Arunachal Pradesh who share the Danyi Polo faith don't subscribe to the descendants from Abitani. Abitani is thought to represent the evolution of the human being from the source Danyi, Sedi, the eye of the universe as important to man as the eye of the body. The divinity has projected man showing him the right way to go. Conscience and ethics Donyi Poloists describe the Donyi Polo nature of the universe as the eyes of human conscience. Happiness is given through right action, and right action is that which follows the order of nature. Donyi Polo, Osheng Iring, a philosopher of the religion, has written that as the two objects in the sky Bamang and Bu focus light to enable us to see what is what, Donyi Polo makes us aware of what is wrong and right. Right conscience naturally prevails. When a person does wrong things acts against the natural order and tries to hide it, or masks it as good, then the force of conscience polo imposes a psychological pressure, and the wrongdoer loses happiness. Right conscience naturally guides man. According to the traditional belief, love, compassion, equality, and selflessness are naturally ordained by Danyi Polo, they are inscribed in nature. The ethical dimension of Danyi Polo also means purity, beauty, simplicity, and frankness. Institution On 28 August 1968, a meeting of Adi intellectuals was held in Along, West Siang, to discuss countermeasures to be taken against the gradual erosion of indigenous identity and traditions attributed to India's policy of integration of Arunachal Pradesh, and particularly the rapid, aggressive and coercive proselytizing of Christianity in the area since the 1950s which has caused an enduring crisis in the cultural mosaic of the northeastern state. The meeting S aim was also that of uniting the Tibeto Burman folks under a collective identity and values for a good life. Talam Rukbo emerged as the father of Danyi Poloism, a term that was coined for the institutionalization of the Tibeto Burman folk religion. According to Rukbo, the main reason of the easy erosion of the traditional culture was that it lacked a written literature. So, with the aim of recovering the endangered rituals, prayers and hymns, within 1986 three major cultural organizations were founded, the Tani Jagridi Foundation, the Danyi Polo Youth Federation and the Danyi Polo Yelam Kabang. Rukbo expressed the need for institutionalization of the traditional faith in these terms. Tradition means the way of living of a society practicing its socio-religious culture, economic life, the way of preserving history, literature and all other norms of social life inherited from time immemorial which may be called social character and identity. Many Adi and Tani intellectuals reflected Rukbo's ideas, and these gradually spread across the tribes and even beyond the Tani people. The 31st of December, the day of establishment of the Danyi Polo Yelam Kabang in 1986, has been made the Danyi Polo Day, celebrated each year. Since then, Templar areas Ganging have been consecrated, religious literature and prayer hymns have been collected and published. To meet the growing number of adherents in the revival, the Danyi Polo Yelam Kabang established orientation courses which take place twice a year and trained groups of youth to send back with books and icons to their home village to encourage people to construct temples and conduct prayers. During the last two decades the spiritual revival has spread all over Arunachal Pradesh. Supporters of the revival have coined the slogan loss of culture is loss of identity which has become very popular. The indirect implication is that those who convert to Christianity lose their culture and hence their identity. Topic. Ganging Topic. A ganging is a general name for a prayer place of the Danyi Poloist faith, and especially in the Adi areas. The ganging as a sacred enclosure is a concept popularized by the Danyi Polo Yelam Kabang since 1996. According to Talam Rukbo, the word ganging is derived from ganging siring, the concept of a land or holy tree that mediates between the spiritual and the natural worlds, and from which anything, living or non living, comes into existence. Ganging congregants have to follow certain rules, for example, male members must sit on the left in rows, and female members on the right, cross legged. Within the prayer place, there should not be any noise during prayer except the sound of the hymns. 
Prayers are organized in the prayer place on Sundays, and all of the ganging branches established in each of the villages under the Siang district are centrally regulated by the Danyi Polo Yelam Kabang. Through the prayer place, codified rituals and practices, and iconographies of the gods and goddesses have been introduced. Ethnic variations <inaudible> 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 In Gallo areas, the prayer place and community halls deer have come up under the patronage of the Danyi Polo Welfare Association and they are being built since the 2000s. Priests conduct prayers in the prayer place on Sundays. In Apatani areas, the religion is called Danyi Pilo and prayer place are called Mater Nello purified place", the first of which was built in 2004 songs and prayers are collected in a prayer book called Liambope. Danyi Poloist prayer place in Nishi areas are called Nidar Namlo, pure place, and also among them the movement has been started only in the early 2000s. More recently, the success of Danyi Polo has crossed the Tani cultural borders, inspiring the rise of Rangfrism among the Tangsa, and of Intaism among the Mishmi, respectively in Changling and Dabang Valley. See also Tribal religions in India Baithuism Sanamahism Sarnaism Topic Notes Topic Topic References Topic Topic Sources Topic. Sarit Kumar Chaudhary. The Institutionalization of Tribal Religion. Recasting the Danyi Polo Movement in Arunachal Pradesh. In, Asian Ethnology, Vol. 72 No. 2, Nansen Institute for Religion and Culture 2013, 259-277 Vasudha Dalmya, Rashmi Sadhana. The Cambridge Companion to Modern Indian Culture. Cambridge University Press, 2012. ISBN 0521736188 Tamo Mibang, Sarit Kumar Chaudhary. Understanding Tribal Religion. Middle Publications, 2004. Nabam Tadar Raikam. Emerging Religious Identities of Arunachal Pradesh. A Study of Naishi Tribe. Middle Publication, 2005. ISBN 8183240321. Jojandar Nath, The Cultural Heritage of a Tribal Society, Volume 1, The ADIs, Omsons Publications, 2000. Topic: External links. Topic: Adi Bari, A Performative Art by Talam Rukbo.